Hey, what's up you guys? With another compound lift, the barbell back squat. Now with these compound lifts, just remember, they are there to be one of those primary lifts to help you get stronger. Make sure the bar is about shoulder height. Another thing too is just make sure you use the thumb placement rule. Now you have the smooth area of the bar, right when it gets to the rough area, that's where you basically place your uh, big thumbs and you measure out making sure you're even on both sides. So we don't wanna be all uneven on one side because then you, you start noticing the squat, someone squatting more to their left side or to their right side. Now everyone's limbs are different. Some people might have longer arms, some people have shorter arms. So based off that placement, you could bring your arms in or out. You come underneath the bar, placing the bar right on those traps, not your neck, your traps making sure we're wrist to elbow. We don't want to have the wrist broken here because then we're at risk of the barbell falling back. We're banding the bar down into ourselves, making sure we have a good grip. We take one big step back and now we're in position to squat, making sure we have wrist to elbow and our elbows are not flaring out. And my foot stance just depends. You know, some people are a little more narrow. Some people are a little wider. Everyone has a uh, different hips because some people's insertions when it comes to uh, the socket and the joint is a little different. So we got to make sure we take that in consideration. My stance is about shoulder width apart. That's about right. Just make sure you're breathing in through your core and not through your chest. I take a big deep breath in, hold my breath. And as I come squatting down, I make sure I drive those hips out keeping my big toes grounded on the floor, keeping all my toes grounded on the floor. Notice as I slightly hinge the hips back, but then I start creating that squat, slightly hinging the hips back and I create that squat, but it's all one movement. I drive the hips out, I, I'm driving the hips out, get to about 90 degrees. Some people might have a better depth in the squat and I come up. Think of it as submerging underneath water. Taking a big deep breath in, through your belly. <sighs> Making sure you're driving out through the hips. Squatting, you're not looking up. If you're looking up, you're gonna be restricting a lot of your range of motion. And not only that, but you're gonna feel that load on your back. Your head has to stay neutral, basically tucking in the chin slightly, keeping it neutral to the spine. You get better depth and you come up a way better successful squat. You can see there, that is the barbell back squat. It's really important to make that mind muscle connection, making sure you check off all the cues. A lot of people get underneath the bar, they don't check off any cues, and now you wonder why your lower back is hurting, why your knee is hurting. Yeah, because you didn't check off those cues. Get the form down right, then you could go up on weight, but make sure form is right.